There we go. Hey guys, welcome to tonight's uh, Hemp Power webinar. We're super excited for having you all. Thank you so much for taking your time. I know you're all sharing the CBD movement one step at a time. We're super excited for hearing all the testimonials, unbelievable testimonials. Well guys, just the other day I did a video on live Facebook and I was talking about a magazine I saw in Barnes and Noble. And I couldn't believe it. I looked at it twice. I said, no way, this is pretty cool. I want to pick it up. So I picked up this magazine, Hemp. They asked me what the name of the magazine is called. It's called Hemp. <laughs> Super cool. As you can see, our parent company is back there, which is really exciting. And also, our products are in the back as well. So then I looked in it. On page 54, as you can see, right there, the great global hemp race is officially on officially on guys so we're super excited about that because we're already ahead of the game and we're already all north america legal in all north america no medical card needed no prescription card needed and the best part of all is gmo free no pesticides no chemicals it's grown in europe guys so i'm gonna bring out a special guest of ours super excited for having her dana newbert a rock star, national director, super awesome to have her. Let me go ahead and bring her on board. She's one of our uh, top leaders in our company. And let's go ahead and see if I could put her on. All right, Dana, are you there? I am, I am. Wow. I, when I do these webinars, I don't usually see my face this big. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> there you go. Pretty crazy. Go ahead and take it away, uh, Dana. Alrighty, well, first off, I am going to see if I can share my screen. Let me share my screen first off and pull up. Yeah, I see it. Okay, now it's back to normal the way I'm used to seeing it. So this is fantastic, fantastic. I want to welcome everybody on tonight. It, it, you know, it excites the heck out of me, um, the people that show up for these. You know, I have to thank you for just being so open to the CBDs. People think that's crazy that I thank people for being open to the CBDs, but you have to understand one thing because a lot of times I'm presenting in Colorado and they're like, Dana everybody's open. What are you talking about? I'm like, well, I live in Phoenix. You know, we didn't pass anything here. So again, I have to thank you just so much for being open to the CBDs. As of a year ago, I knew nothing about CBDs. I mean, nothing at all about CBDs. In fact, I used to work um, at Solar City with my buddy Jeff Lessard and my partner Mary. And one day Jeff walked up to me and and he's like, Mary was complaining about her feet hurting earlier. If she still complains, have, have her put some of the salve on. And I'm like, yeah, right. You know, I put it in my pocket and I completely forget about it. So we go home that night and Mary's like, my feet are killing me. And I said, oh my gosh, Mary, I forgot to tell you, Jeff gave me something. Here, put this stuff on it. And she said, what is it? And I said, oh my gosh, I don't know. I didn't even ask him. I said, but you've tried everything else. Why don't you give it a shot? So she puts it on her feet, and within a few minutes, she's like, Dana, my feet don't hurt anymore. I'm like, yeah, right. It's like, no, seriously, my feet don't hurt anymore. So then I got to thinking, I wonder if that would work on my back. I have a back of an 80-year-old, so I have disgenerative. My back is actually crumbling. I have a bulging disc in my lower back, and I have two bones fused together in my neck. So in other words, Rheumatoid arthritis set in really bad. And in fact, it set in so bad in, into my neck that I could barely turn my neck anymore. So it was getting pretty dangerous to drive. I even purchased a car. Now my passenger mirror, I have a camera on it. So when I put my turn signal on, I can see all the lanes of the highway because I couldn't see that blind spot for nothing. So anyways, I, I take a little bit of that salve, put it on my lower back. And within a few minutes, I said to Mary, that's really weird. Because I could almost convince myself my lower back feels better. So I went back to Jeff Lessard and I was like, what is this stuff? And that's when he said, Dana, it's CBDs. I said, CBDs? What the heck is that? So he starts to tell me about the CBDs. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Don't tell me. Do you think it could actually help my back? And he said, well, I don't know, Dana, but I think that you should start ingesting the oils. Oh, I'm like, that's fine. What do you think I should get? So he told me what I should get, and I started ingesting the oils. And two weeks, two weeks after ingesting the oils, I turned and my back cracked. I'm like, are you kidding me? No way. So I turned the other way and my back cracked again. I couldn't believe it, couldn't believe it. And so I've actually been on the oils now just over a year. 
I've been on the oils. I actually have more flexibility now than when I was a kid. And so for, I know some of you call in on the phone, but for some of you that, that can see me, I mean, I can turn my neck like never before and I can actually touch my toes. So needless to say, I'm just a little passionate about these oils. So who is Canaway? Well, our parent company is Medical Marijuana Inc. They have been around since 2009. They were the very first company to be publicly traded in the cannabis cannabis space. Isn't that cool? We're just one distribution mode called Canaway. They also own a company called Hep Meds, Dixie Botanicals. They own 45% of Axum Biotech. And they also own a company called Canna Life Sciences. That's just to mention a few. They own quite a few more than that. Let me see if I can get my slides to move down here slowly. So Canaway will always stand by these four pillars. They're family oriented. What that means is it's for everybody, including animals, so your dogs, yes, and children. I mean, it is absolutely for everyone, and I will explain to you as to why. Sustainable, but the one I love, driven by science. Do you know there's over 23,000 scientific studies that have already been done on the CBD oils? In fact, the US government has been studying the C, has they been paying Israel? since 1945 to study these oils. Be very careful when you start studying the history because you'll get a little upset. It'll be a little profound to you till you realize, oh my gosh, this is all fact. I'm going, I know, I know, isn't that bizarre? Yeah, natural and botanical. We've been featured in many magazines from USA Today to Yahoo to five times in Forbes magazine. So we're starting to make some headways, you notice. In fact, Andrew just showed you a magazine of a hemp magazine and the whole back of it the whole back of it was Medical Marijuana Inc. They are the ones that, is, that are running this whole revolution that we are in. And this is a revolution, which you'll, I'll talk a little bit about also. So we're a company of first. Whoops, sorry about that. Got a little ahead of myself, didn't I? We were the very first to create a mainstream natural CBD brand. We were the very first to launch a respected cannabinoid supplement. But here is the key. We were the very first company to develop strict quality standards through rigorous triple lab testing. I cannot tell you how important this is. Three different times throughout the process, and actually I'm wrong on that. I have just found out we actually tested five times, five different times throughout the process. We are testing it for mold, for mildew, for pesticides, for herbicides. Why? Because I will show you how important it is that these products are as natural as can be. It's amazing. It's unbelievable. In fact, I'll just tell you a little bit of a tidbit. Well, no, I'll, I'll first I'll continue on to the hemp plant first. So the history of hemp, as you can imagine, it's a long history behind hemp. I keep it very, very simple just to open people's minds that they get the gist of it. But I really want you to definitely go research it on your own. And it's amazing history. So in one hand, we have the cannabis plant, right? In fact, they nicknamed it marijuana, right? And in fact, I just watched a documentary. In fact, if you get a chance, if you want to see an amazing documentary it just came out, it is called The Sacred Plant. Now, this is an amazing documentary. But one thing that I learned in there that I thought was so cool was that they nicknamed marijuana. Well, how did they nickname it that? Well, it was basically against the Mexicans. What they did was they came up with the two most popular names down in Mexico, Mary and Juan. They intertwined them together and came up with marijuana. It was basically to, to be against the Mexicans with the drug cartel, and this was just all intertwined. I mean, be careful of the history. It gets pretty crazy. So let's just talk about that marijuana plant for a second. It's very high THC, very low CBD. So in other words, it's what gets you high, right? On the other hand, we have the industrial hemp plant. Now, this industrial hemp plant is very high CBD very low THC. So in other words, I could smoke all the hemp I want and I can't get high. So why is it a drug? Isn't that the million dollar question? If I can smoke all the hemp I want and I can't even get high? Well, when you start really looking into the history of hemp, hemp is absolutely a fascinating plant. It grows like 20 foot stalks in four months. There's over 52,000 uses for hemp. Isn't that amazing? You can make rope out of hemp. You can make clothing out of hemp. San Diego train station built out of hemp Crete. It actually flexes 
with the earthquakes. Isn't that amazing? Ford made a car out of hemp that is stronger and lighter than any car out there. And in fact, it ran off of hemp fuel. And I don't know if some of you on here saw the Facebook post where Jay Leno is driving around in a hemp car. And I always tease, uh, when I go back to Colorado, I always tease the Coloradans that you better get your hemp car pretty quick. Because see, about two months ago, they had a hailstorm that was so bad, that was so bad, uh, that it was actually coming through the roofs of the car. And I keep saying, if you had a hemp car, that probably wouldn't have happened. <laughs> but so when you start really researching the history of hemp, can you imagine making plastic out of hemp that when you're done with that water bottle could you do me a favor and throw it in the yard and put the nutrients back in it see anything that oil can do hemp can do better now that's crazy isn't it not to mention the declaration of independence was drafted on hemp paper so think about it you don't need to drill for oil and we don't need to cut down a tree so what happened could you imagine if we never drilled for oil, if we never cut the trees down, how amazing this planet would be? What happened? Not all, oh, I forgot to even tell you, it's been our medicine for what, thousands of years, right? Unbelievable. Well, what happened was two very wealthy families, the Hearst family and the Scripps family out of San Diego. They owned lumber mills and 23 newspaper companies. It was going to cut into their profit. So what did they do? They intertwined the industrial hemp plant with the marijuana plant and they came out with a thing called reefer madness you will go insane if you smoke this they ended up lobbying and getting the taxes raised so high that the farmers couldn't afford to grow it see it used to be mandatory to grow hemp in america taxes were paid with hemp i mean everything you can imagine was done with hemp and when they took it they ended up lobbying like i said and getting the taxes so high then they ended up lobbying and getting it taken away completely and what I will show you is that since the day they took it away from us, since 1937, when they took it away from us, all the strange stuff that started to happen to our bodies. <laughs> Why is that? Because you remember how I said it was mandatory to grow hemp all over America. Well, that meant the cows were eating the hemp, the chickens were eating the hemp, the pigs were eating the hemp. Guess what we were eating? The animals. It's estimated that our ancestors were getting approximately 50 milligrams into their bodies every single day, just naturally, the way it was always meant to be. Do you know that hemp plant is the most nutritional plant in the world? You could survive off hemp, the hemp plant, and water. It has all your omegas, all your fats, everything the body needs. That's how nutritional this plant is. And when they took it away from us, all of us, including the animals, started suffering. And why is that? It's because we have something in our body that is called in an endogenous, whoops, am I a little far there? This thing's touchy tonight. We have something in our bodies called an endogenous cannabinoid system. This is the largest self-regulatory system in our body. Regulates everything from, from sleep to hormone production to appetite to digestion, you name it. It regulates it. We have CB1 receptors in our brain, CB2 receptors in our gut. These receptors are throughout our entire body. Now, when you start putting the CBDs in our body, it puts you in what they call homeostasis. That just means balance. It balances everything. You know, Dr. David Allen, who's a retired heart surgeon, said, this is the greatest discovery ever in the human body. Now, you would think we just found out about it. No, we've known about it for what, about 30 years now? But only one in nine universities that teach our doctors even teach on this system. Any guesses as to why? Yeah, it's all about the money. Pharmaceutical drug companies donate a lot of money to the universities. They dictate what is taught to our doctors crazy. And Dr. David Allen also made one of the most profound statements I have ever heard. And what he said, that by manipulation of this endocannabinoid system, what's that mean? That just means by feeding this system, it will save more lives than sterile surgery. 
that's out of a heart surgeon's mouth. That is profound to me, absolutely profound. And before I get off onto a tangent, sometimes I have a little, I sometimes get off on a tangent. I have to make sure that I finish the rest of my testimony. Something I've, of course, I've never wanted to do, something I never, I've never shared my testimony um, until Canaway came around. I was doing a presentation back in Colorado and I did not share my testimony. I'd found out afterwards that there was an 18 year old gentleman in my presentation with his mom. He had tried to commit suicide. He must have done a pretty good job. His mom will be in debt the rest of, his, of, of, his, of her life. I got really lucky because this 18 year old gentleman showed up to my presentation the very next night with his mom. That's why I said, oh, here we go, Dana. You have to share your testimony. So I too have struggled with depression my entire life. I also have tried to commit suicide three times. One time was with 13 ephedrine pills. A lot of the women may know what that is. We used to use it for weight loss. It's too dangerous. They've taken it off of the market. See, I never wanted to be on this planet. I couldn't understand why you guys wanted to be on this planet. And some of you on tonight, you actually want to live to be like 150 years old. Now, that never computed in my brain. I'm like, are you crazy? I don't even want to be here today. I couldn't understand it. And I love my friend, how she describes it. She struggles with the PTSD and depression, and anxiety, all that good stuff, right? I love how she describes it, that when she started taking the oils, it was as if somebody wiped the mud off of her glasses and she could see clearly. And she's right. And for the first time in my life, I actually want to be on this planet. I get it why you want to live to be 150. I do. I get it. It's kind of a cool place. Starting to really get that as, as okay. Let me back up here. I have to say this a thousand times throughout this presentation. I am not a doctor. I make absolutely no claims. In fact, I am so far from a doctor you wouldn't even believe it. In fact, I don't even go to the doctors, okay? That's how far removed I am from the doctors. But in my crazy mind, I believe in everything in me that my CB1 receptors were not firing properly. I was not seeing life like the rest of you. I wasn't. And we have a high epidemic of 18 to 25 year olds committing suicide right now. Could it be, could it be as simple as getting these oils into their bodies and firing these receptors? Could it be? You know, I don't know, but I can tell you what it's done for me. And I have a testimony on everything that you can possibly imagine. So I am a little passionate. I'm done with people suffering. I really am. And the more that I see and the more testimonies that I have, the more passionate I became. I absolutely become. You know, Mary and I were getting ready to go up and do a presentation up in Sedona, Arizona. Now, I did not witness this, but I have met this 99-year-old woman. But there was a 99-year-old woman in a wheelchair. She has not spoke one word in four years years so her daughter who's her caregiver thought why don't i start putting the oils underneath my mom's gums so she did within a short period of time this little this this lady this is the sweetest lady she was able to say five words three weeks later she was able to communicate in sentences that it was as if she never existed because nobody she couldn't speak then i just found out Two months later, she got up out of that wheelchair unassisted. Just a little profound, don't you think? And then just in April, Stanford came out with a study. I couldn't believe they got away with this wording. I couldn't believe they got away with it. But Stanford's study says that a deficiency in this endocannabinoid system, and by the way, we're all very extremely deficient. Why? Because the last time you fed your system is if you were fortunate enough to have been breastfed. A mother's breast milk produces a lot of CBDs for the baby. So don't you think it might be good for us also? So Stanford said that a deficiency in this system is the cause, that's the word I couldn't believe they got away with, is the cause of Alzheimer's. And there will be more deaths this year from Alzheimer's than heart disease. Are you kidding me? Is it, isn't that profound? Yeah, I'm just a little passionate about this in case you can't tell. Now, I don't know if you know anything about seizure babies, but I have to tell you about little Ani out of Brazil. I have to tell you about little Ani. She was having three to five hundred seizures a day. What they do with these little babies, they put them on very harsh medications. When that doesn't stop the seizures, they take up part of the brain trying to stop them. And, with, and a lot of times they have to revive these babies. I can't tell you how many times. Not to mention they put, I hope I say the word, the word right. They put them on um, 
prednisone, and that swells their faces up like this. You can't even recognize these little babies. Like I said, they have to revive these babies. I can't tell you how many times. And when that doesn't work, they actually give the parent the last medication that will most likely end that child's life. So that was happening to Ani in Brazil. And so her brain, part of her brain was taken out, but her mom said, oh no, we're not giving my daughter that last medication. She took to social media. She found Penny Howard out of D Dallas, Texas. Her little girl's name was Harper. Seems like she was having the same type of seizures, going through the same thing, absolutely the same thing. And she reached out to our company and got onto our oils and it seemed to stop that little girl's seizure. So what did Penny Howard do? Penny Howard cut open teddy bears, put our oils inside the teddy bears, sewed it up, shipped it off to Brazil. Yeah, that's just a little illegal, absolutely. But it stopped on his seizures. How cool is that? But, 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 the Brazilian government intercepted one of those orders. Ani's mom was arrested, and there the law is very severe. She was pretty much going to prison for life. So her family ended up suing the Brazilian government. What happened was a judge ruled that it would be inhumane to keep our oils from that little girl. Not only did it become legal for that little girl, but they pay for that little girl's oils, as well as a thousand other patients. How cool is that? And check this out. If you lived in Brazil today, you could get onto our oils, but you would have to go see a doctor and be diagnosed with everything you can possibly imagine from cancer, Alzheimer's, dementia. It doesn't matter, depression, you name it, it's listed. Uh, and what happens is they give you a prescription and then our company can ship you the oils. How cool is this? We live in America. We are legal in all 50 states. You don't need to go see a doctor to get on a natural herb with no side effects. Isn't that cool? I always say it's so cool being a part of a company changing laws in other countries. But I have to stop saying that. I have to absolutely stop saying that. Because it is not our company that changed the laws. It's Ani. You know, I believe these little kids came here and they're suffering to wake us up. And once you meet one of these little kids and what they have went through, you realize what a responsibility that is put onto your shoulders to tell the world, to tell the world. Now, this slide right here is basically just saying no genetically modified ingredients, no pesticides, no herbicides, no chemical fertilizer. I've got to be very honest with you. Everybody is starting to learn about CBDs. And in fact, a lot of your doctors are starting to prescribe CBDs. They are. I'm very proud of them on one hand. I am. But let me tell you something. If you think pharmaceutical drugs or chemotherapy are going to go down without a fight, you're crazy. It is estimated that CBD oils will replace over 40% of the pharmaceutical drugs out there. Pharmaceutical drug companies are not happy about this in any way, shape, or form. So let me tell you what's going on. I want to be completely honest with you. When your doctor prescribes those oils to you, to you, do yourself a favor. First of all, thank your doctor for prescribing. That's fantastic. As soon as you leave that office, you rip that up and you throw it away. And this is why. What they just, what they, that prescription that they just gave you is for a synthetic CBD. That is a fake CBD. Now, let me tell you about it, okay? Because it has been compared side by side to our CBDs. Their fake CBD have about a 30% effective rate. They have horrible side effects, and they have had a death. Our CBDs, about a 68% effective rate. Side effects, I don't know, increased mood, happiness. Point being, look at the difference between natural and fake. Oh, I, I won't be smart. That, that's not nice. Look at the difference between natural and synthetic. Just like the GMO food, it doesn't work in our bodies. We are all waking up. We are all starting to realize this. So you, so you have to absolutely. Another thing I want to say also, too, is remember how he's telling you about the hemp plant being a natural purifier, remember? Well, and, and please excuse me if I say this word wrong. When that natural disaster happened, I'm going to say it here, and I apologize if I say it wrong, Chernobyl. 
gosh. When that natural disaster happened, they actually planted the hemp plant. And why is that? Because it pulls everything out of the earth. It's a natural purifier. It cleans the earth. Now, that's amazing. But you don't want that in your oils. You absolutely don't. So it's very, very, very important, especially as more and more CBD companies come on. It's very, very important. You know where you're getting your oils from. Because you don't want it to be from some place that sprays the pesticides or herbicides or anything like that. Ours comes from farms that have been organic for over 100 years. Has to be. Absolutely has to be because it's a natural purifier. Also, there's three different extraction methods to get the CBDs out of the plant. Now, if you live in Colorado or someplace where, it's, where things are legal, the cheapest way to extract the CBDs is you soak that plant in the butane or the ethanol. If one of the ingredients is butane or ethanol, please do not ingest those, please. Please do not. You want a CO2 or what they call supercritical. It's like a cold compress. You want it as natural as possible. I can't tell you how important that is. Now, in some of our oils, we have something called a special B-bone herbal blend. B-bone in Korean just means secret. That's about it, proprietary or secret. Now, Janelle Kim, she's an herbologist. She's from a long lineage of the royal Korean family. And the secret to an herbologist is actually in the mixture of the herbs. And they've had this formulation that's an amazing formulation for generation after generation after generation. So our company thought, how cool would it be to not only have the most amazing CBDs, which we know we do, and trust me, I've compared it to just about everybody out there, but how cool if we added this special formula to some of our oils and not all, and I'll explain to you why not all in just a second. So as you can imagine, we have an AM formula and a PM formula. That's that special herbs. They both have CBDs in it, but that AM formula gives that consistent, focused energy. The PM formula, forget it. Could have built the whole company off the PM formula. I had no idea how many people had problems sleeping. No idea. But I can tell you right now, 45 minutes before bed, you can't wait to take your PM formula. It's nine drops underneath the tongue. You wait 45 seconds, then you swallow it. You sleep amazing, but when you wake in the morning, don't try to go back to sleep. It's go time. You feel very refreshed. And then that Revive Pro, that is the exact same formulation as that AM, except three times the strength of the CBDs. When I started a year ago, that was the strongest oil that we had. I call that my lifesaver. I believe in everything in me. I would not be on this planet today. My kids always said, you know, that they knew I was getting ready to check out. They always said I was 52 going on 100. And now I feel like I'm 52 going on 30. There's no ands, ifs, ors about it. And that was my lifesaver. But since then, we've had two oils that came out that are actually stronger than that. We have our, our pre, well, I did, sorry about that. We have our premium hemp oil, which is 1,500 milligrams. It comes in a syringe just like this. 1,500 milligrams in that tube, or 50 milligrams per pea size that we put underneath our tongue. Remember when I said the average healthy body prior to 1937 was getting naturally 50 milligrams. That's what a healthy body needs. Have I told you I haven't met a healthy body yet? But if I did, you need a minimum of 50 milligrams a day. Now, this is a full spectrum. When it came out, it was, a, it, I mean, it's game changer. There's no doubt about it. And then our company decided to take it up a notch. They came out with the Canaway Gold. Are you kidding me? In this Canaway Gold right here, this is 3,600 milligrams in this entire tube or 120 milligrams per pea size. Now, if any of your family members just came from the doctor and they said, I'm supposed to get my affairs in order, I would overnight that to them so fast, it'd make your head spin. You know, my daughter uh, lives in San Francisco and she had a complete stranger reach out to her, a 35 year old guy reach out to her. And he said, don't tell me about your oils. I know they're the best. Nobody knows more about these oils than I do. And I also know that you have the best price out there. That's even, even more bizarre. And I'll go back to the hemp oil in just a second. And he said, I just need to get some of your oils. Well, I happened to be visiting my daughter at the time. I said, well, let's meet him in a coffee shop. So we met this gentleman at a coffee shop. Remember, he was 35. And I looked at him. I said, oh, my gosh, are you okay? And he said, no, I'm not. I said, what do you mean? He said, I have advanced stages of pancreatic cancer. I have 30 days to live. I said, oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. He said, so what do you think? I said, hands down. If I was you, and remember, did I tell you this before? I'm not a doctor. Let me repeat that. I'm not a doctor. But if I was you, 
I would get on our Canaway Gold. This is a month's supply. If I was you, I would probably double that. He could not afford it. So he set up a GoFundMe account and he bought the oils and he got onto them. And what I can tell you is nine months later, he's doing amazing, except he ran out of his oils for two days. He was hospitalized. My daughter immediately bought this for him and gave it to him. He's doing pretty well again. Again, I make absolutely no claims. That could be coincidence. I do not know. I am not a doctor. Now back to that, that the middle one, the, the premium hemp oil of 1,500 milligrams. I was doing a presentation in Mesa, Arizona, and this gentleman said, can I take a look at that? And he's reading the box, and he's going, oh, full spectrum. Oh, wow, blah, blah, blah. He seemed to know his stuff. I said, how do you know so much about CBDs? And he said, well, I deal with a lot of the veterans that have PTSD, anxiety, so I'm in every dispensary in Arizona. He said, the only problem with that, Dana, that tube right there, the problem with that tube, that's a $400 tube. I knew what he was talking about because I had been in Colorado dispensaries comparing our oils. And I said, you're right. I, I said, you're exactly right. And he said, what do you guys sell it for? I said, well, I can show you how to get it for $155. I thought he was going to fall off his chair. Before I get to mention it, we have the most unbelievable deals on these two uh, uh, to, uh, for the next, I think it's just two more days, to three days, for three days. These two, the gold and that premium hempo is, oh my gosh, they have the most amazing sales. So you will have to get back with the person who um, even invited you on here. You're not even going to believe the prices. So I'm not even going to go over with them because they're, they're too unbelievable. You won't even believe me. So we just have to show it to you. But one last oil that I have to tell you about, but I cannot tell you about it without a story, of course. We had a little girl in Mexico having like these three to 500 seizures, right? Terrible seizures. It, again, reviving her all the time and all this horrible stuff, taking out part of her brain, right? But her father, Raul, knew that what happened to Ani's mom. He did not want to be arrested. He did not want his child taken away from him. So what did he do? He went to the Mexican government. He said to the government, Mexican government, can I please try CBDs with my daughter? The doctors are done with her. They've tried everything, even took out part of her brain. Can I please, can I please just try the CBDs? The Mexican government thought they were going to trick him. They said, absolutely, you can try CBDs under one condition. See, most of our oils have less than 0.3% THC, THC in them. That's a trace amount. That's why we're legal in all 50 states. It's a tiny, tiny trace. They said zero THC. There wasn't a product out there. Our company created this product for that little girl. And that is so if anybody is worried about a drug test, our pure CBD has zero THC. It passes all the world anti-doping. So if you're a doctor or teacher or anybody that gets drug tested, don't worry about it. This one here is for you. What's even more amazing is that oil right there. Stop that little girl's seizures. And now it is legal in Mexico. Again, uh, prescription only. So in uh, Brazil, Paraguay, and Mexico, prescription only. Again, in America, no prescription. We're legal. It is all cool. So that has been a, another game changer because so many of you out there are worried about a drug test and now you no longer have to worry because our pure has zero and it passes all the world anti-doping, which is pretty amazing. Some of our other products here are bath detox. Talk about a game changer. If any of you have ever been on pharmaceutical drugs, by the way, in case you haven't, don't know, we all have. Uh, we've all had uh, vaccinations, whatever. We, and some of you, unfortunately, have gone through chemotherapy, and I'm sorry about that. But my point is, is get these heavy metals out of your body. Get them out of your body, okay? The first time you want to dump that whole bottle in, in the bath water and soak for 45 minutes, that might be a pretty good idea. What happens? Leave the bath water in overnight, and you're going to see what I'm talking about. Your pores open wide. These tiny flakes come out of metal. When you leave the bath water overnight, they conglomerate together. You're not going to believe what's in your body. These metals should not be in there. Get them out. Get them out. And then we were the very first to come out with the first CBD luxury skincare line in the world. If you take the most expensive skincare that you can possibly think of, most expensive for your face, they have a 1% to 3% active ingredient in it. Ours has over a 23% active ingredient, except our serum and toner. They have over a 95% active ingredient in it. It's amazing, unbelievable. Your body knows what to do with hemp. And I'm telling you right now, be careful of your skin. It is the largest organ on your body. What are you putting on it? 
be very careful. It's getting right into our body. So you've got to know what you're putting on it. Then our salve, that was that little sample, but this is in the bigger jar, jar. We call that our gateway to all our other products because I don't care if you have a migraine. I don't care if your knee's killing you. I really don't care. In fact, I kind of, I kind of love it when somebody comes to my presentation with a migraine. We'll be like, oh, here, here, put this on your T-zone right now. And it's like within minutes, it's like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's unbelievable. Um, we just love our salve. There's no ands if or ors about it. Um, now this one can active. It's kind of like proactive. You know, teenagers, well, a lot of them, and even older people uh, actually have acne. I never had a testimony on this until uh, not too long ago. My friend's uh, daughter, 18-year-old daughter, and anybody knows about an 18-year-old female with acne, right? Her life's over, isn't it? Absolutely. So the mom had her to every doctor you can imagine, on every prescription drug you can imagine, on everything you can absolutely imagine. And nothing worked. So they decided to try this. Do you know what it's like to see an 18-year-old get up in front of 50 people telling her testimony how this product right here gave her her life back through the tears? Most amazing, one of the most amazing testimonies I've heard. So I got to give that product right there a lot of credit. Okay, now this is my favorite screen of, not that one. This is my favorite screen of them all. I know some of you are probably on the phone, but if you can see my screen, the one on the right is Ani. She single-handedly changed the lives in Brazil. I love that little girl. That's amazing to me. The one in the middle, that is Penny Howard's daughter, Harper. I have met Harper. I have. Unfortunately, we lost Harper in January. Pretty sad. On the left there, that's little Sadie. Unbelievable. That's her father, Brian. To hear Brian tell the story, there's not a dry eye in the house. When you meet these two right here, and especially Sadie, but especially when you hear Brian talk, I'm telling you right now, this goes from the opportunity of a lifetime to the responsibility of a lifetime. Every time we don't open our mouth, another child suffers, another human being suffers, another dog suffers, another animal suffers. They do. I'm telling you right now, when you meet that little girl right there, your life changes. Yeah. Yeah, you think you're afraid to tell people about this until you meet that little girl and you see the suffering she went through. Unbelievable. Blake Schrader, who is our CEO of our company, he has a heart of gold. He's come out, he's come out with a website called echoconnection.org, um, E-C-H-O, connection.org. I'm sure they're putting it in the chat room for you right now. Please go to that website. Whatever you are concerned with in your body, whatever it is, and I don't care what you're concerned with, go to the education tab. It will be listed in alphabetic order. Click on it. All the scientific research will come up behind it. One step a little bit more amazing. This site is still in the beta testing, so it gets better every single day. But you're going to be able to, say you want to go to a doctor that understands this largest self-regulatory system in our body, right? The largest self-regulatory system. You want to go to a doctor that understands that. You're going to be able to put your zip code in. It's going to come up with all the list of doctors by you. Or if you just want to speak to a doctor online, you're going to be able to do that. This is going to be the largest site in the world for CBD oils. It will be the WebMD of CBD oils. I'm pretty darn proud of that. And so in case you can't tell, I'm very excited. I'm, I mean, I'm very passionate about the testimonies. I could go on with testimonies about everything that you could possibly imagine. I don't care if it's diabetes. I always tell people, please test um, a little bit more often. Uh, if you are a diabetic of any sort, type 1, type 2, I really don't care. Uh, we've actually had people cut their medication in half and actually get off of it. But my point is, is, is I'm so passionate. I think I have a testimony on any everything you can imagine. Um, oh, there's some rare ones out there, but we're even starting to get testimony on those also. And more and more scientific studies have come out about it. I will speak very shortly, maybe just five minutes here. I will tell you about the opportunity side because I am just as passionate about this um, also. But it was really the testimonies that have changed everybody's lives. But does anybody on here know who Grandpa Kennedy was? His name was Joe Kennedy. His name was Grandpa Kennedy. I'm sure a lot of you already know. You're probably typing in the chat. <laughs> he was a bootlegger during the prohibition of alcohol. When they legalized alcohol, he became the 15th wealthiest man in America. And in fact, it's the only reason you and I know the Kennedy's name. Isn't that profound? Well, look at where we are. We are at the beginning to the end of the prohibition of the cannabis industry. You and I have the opportunity to position ourselves right now as well as, or if not even better than what Joe Kennedy did. Isn't that amazing? I find that fascinating. And all I have to do is help people feel better. You will be so extremely successful in our company if and only if you have a heart of gold and you really want other people to feel better. And I can guarantee you right now, 
you'd be so successful, it's ridic ridiculous. You have a company that does two things. I will talk about two things they do that are so amazing, and then I'll, I'll pass it off to Andrew. Uh, but two things our company does that is absolutely so unbelievable, that sets us apart from everybody out there. They have come up with something called minimum income guarantees. You know how a lot of us are used to a nine to five job, so we're used to a paycheck, right? So we know how to pay our bills. That's kind of cool knowing what the heck's coming in the door, right? So our company came up with something called minimum income guarantees. Now, what does that mean? That means when you hit certain rankings, you're guaranteed that income no matter what, as long as the business volume's there. So for instance, the very first ranking you can hit is what they call executive director. I've had people hit it in as quick as 12 days. I know that's fast. I make absolutely no claims. It's like, just like I'm not a doctor, right? I make no claims, but I'm just showing you what is possible. What is possible? That is a guaranteed income of $500 a month. $500 a month can save a lot of marriages out there. I'm actually very passionate about that ranking. I'm so proud of the people on here even tonight that have hit that. Thank you. Congratulations. It's, that's game changer right there. The very next one is what they call area director. Guaranteed income of $2,500. I have had people hit it in as quick as 30 days. Now, again, that's fast. But I'm showing you what is possible. Now, it goes all the way up to a guaranteed income of a million dollars a year. But the one I am most passionate about, my daughter hit it last month. My 26-year-old daughter. Did I say she was 26? My 26-year-old daughter hit it last month. And that is the minimum income guarantee of 100 thousand dollars a year now don't get me wrong that's great income but that's not why i'm so impressed what i'm so impressed is that when you hit that ranking our company will reward you with 100,000 shares of medical marijuana inc stock let me tell you how powerful this stock is remember one of the companies that i talked about was axon biotechnology our company owns 45 percent of them right well, this past October, they were trading at 22 cents a share. You say, oh, big deal, Dana, oh, big deal. 22 cents a share, right? That was October. Three months later, they traded as high as $19 a share. Take that little 100,000 shares of Medical Marijuana Inc. stock. It could possibly be worth $1.9 million. So now you can see you have the opportunity to not only change your income, but legacies of your family. And a little bit of good news that I absolutely have to end on here. This is great news. That company that I'm talking about, Axon Biotechnology, they are going for the patent on the CBD chewing gum for the opiate addiction. That's right. CBD seemed to help with every addiction you can possibly imagine. I don't care if it's sugar, I don't care if it's alcohol, heroin, opiates, I don't really care. But our sister company is going for the patent on that CBD chewing gum. That's powerful. That's what we have our hands on. Can you imagine helping with the opiate addiction, which in my opinion, the pharmaceutical drug companies have created? They have created that. And you and I have the opportunity to go help people that are dying on these opiates, that are dying of overdoses. You and I can change that. This is a revolution. I always say this is a train going downhill. Nothing's going to stop it. You might as well jump on board with us. So if whether you want to just be a customer with us, thank you. If you want to become a brand ambassador with us and work this company, thank you. The one thing we will promise is we will run fast and we will run hard with you. Why fast? because you and I both know what we are up against. We're up against billions of dollars worth of corp corporations. Nobody, you know, this has been 80 years that this plant has been taken away from us. We are bringing it back and nothing's gonna stop us, nothing. And we do need your help. If nothing else, I hope I opened your mind that when you go to the voting poll, at least maybe I opened your mind to change your vote there. Like I said, I live in Arizona and, and we didn't pass anything. So thank you again so much for being on tonight. And Andrew, thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak tonight. I so appreciate that. So I'm just going to pass it back to Andrew, and it's all yours. Woo-wee! Man, unbelievable. Hands down. Thank you so much, Dana. So mm -hmm. blessed to have you tonight. It's exciting. I can't wait. You're coming down uh, this month on the 22nd. And a 23rd, guys. So if you're in Southern California, you want to meet Dana, come visit her and hear her talk about this amazing CBD movement. 
She said it all tonight, guys. I'm going to end it. The call is recorded. But, guys, get ready. As you saw in the chat room, Red Carpet Events is coming up this 26th of August, as well as next month, I believe, in Texas, and then the following in New York. And then, of course, our corporate event in Denver, Colorado in November. So, guys, we're super excited. Have a blessed night. Again, thank you so much, Dana. Take care yeah. now. Thank you. Bye-bye.